What's up, eggheads? Kenan here with New Egg Now, bringing you the best products for the best prices. Super excited to introduce to you the Aostra Motor S07B electric bike today. As you can see, I've already got it assembled in front of me. It comes 90% pre-assembled in the box already, all parts carefully packaged and protected. In the box, you get the e-bike, battery charger, toolkit, and user manual. If you're in the market for an electric bike, you already know prices can go from 500 bucks all the way up to $8,000. Pretty exorbitant prices out there. So why buy an electric bike anyway? With an e-bike, you get to combine the benefits of a traditional bicycle with the added benefits of easily climbing hills or fighting the wind. Those can make cycling quite a drag. <laughs> if you have joint pain or asthma, an e-bike can allow you to experience the joy of cycling without being in pain. Get you back out there enjoying nature, either in solitude or with friends and family. The Aostra Motor S07B is an awesome model on more of the budget end of the spectrum yet still delivering many of the great perks that the expensive bikes deliver. Let's get into it. Okay, from the outside working in, the S07B uses a strong and lightweight aluminum alloy frame suitable for users of height 5'4", up to 6'5", and up to about 300 pounds. It's equipped with a front light, a rear reflector, front and rear disc brakes, Shimano Outer 7 speed derailleur. You get a switch for a shock absorber, all right? Suitable for more complex terrain, keeping you comfy no matter where you are, very good. Let's talk motor and battery. Aoster Motor gives you a 750 watt, high speed brushless motor and removable lithium battery right here. Strong, strong driving force, long endurance. This battery is a 48 volt, 13 amp hour lithium battery. Can you guess what speed you can achieve with this motor and battery combo? Many e-bikes out there can't top 20 miles per hour. So the fact that this one can do 20 miles per hour is pretty good. Just kidding. You get a top speed of 25 miles per hour. Charge the battery in four to six hours and you're gonna get 30 to 43 miles of distance out of just one charge. The variance will depend of course on the amount of hills and your speed. But this is more than enough power for a regular daily commute, grocery run, or just enjoying a quick frolic around nature. And also, that's only if you're using e-bike mode, all right? You get three modes, e-bike, pedal-assisted, and normal pedaled mode. You can obviously use it as a regular bike, so you can get far more distance out of the bike if you were going to conserve a little bit of power along the way, right? Maybe pedal yourself along level terrain and then use the e-bike mode just to climb hills. All right, one charge will last you a super long time that way. All right, so quick recap so far. Aluminum alloy frame, suitable for users 5'4 to 6'5, less than 300 pounds. Charge the removable battery in four to six hours. Get 30 to 43 miles out of one charge, speeds up to 25 miles per hour, and three working modes, e-bike, pedal assisted, and normal pedaled mode. Let's check out these fat tires. All right, this is pretty insane. 26 by four inch fat tires, giving you incredible traction. You'll have absolutely no problem cruising over beach, snow, gravel, rain, dirt, sand, even ice, all right? Suitable for all terrain. I don't care if you're in Alaska, Death Valley, Machu Picchu, riding in the snow or on a beach, your journey is only limited by your imagination. And it is not limited by these tires. Moving over to the display, you've got an SW LCD display. They even give you a USB port under the meter to charge your phone while you're traveling. Imagine that. If you've got headphones or a Bluetooth headset on, you're riding along, streaming music, listening to an audiobook, or even on a conference call on the way to work, arrive at your destination, phone still fully charged. It's, it's those little things in life, right? So nice. And that's pretty much everything I can impart about this bicycle without you riding it yourself. It's definitely a great long-term investment. Riding an e-bike can save a lot on transportation costs. It's good for the environment. It's great for your body, for your mental health. You can use the bike traditionally without power for a full workout or use e-bike mode and pedal assist to get up those tough hills, work through strong winds, or if you struggle with joint pain or asthma. 
This could be a great gift for anyone who fits that description as well. Pro tip, when assembling, first attach the handlebars, flip the bike over, and install the tire, all right? That'll make the process very easy. You'll also want to loosen the bolts near the discs uh, at the tires before attaching them. All right, so, uh, so yeah, Aosta Motor has thought of a lot here. They give you a strong, durable frame, amazing tires built for any terrain and weather conditions. You've got the lights, the brakes, the LCD with phone charging port. Really all that's left is just to get out there and have fun. Let us know what you think about this bike in the reviews and comments. For current pricing, please check the description or click that link below. The Aoster Motor S07B electric bike. I'm Kenan with New Egg Now, and now you know. Hey guys, it's Josh here for New Egg Now, where we're bringing you some of the coolest new tech products at the most affordable prices. Today, we're going to look at a really useful and cool product that is going to make your laptop much more functional and adaptable, the Wavlink USB-C 4K triple display docking station. This device is just so useful as it is going to allow you to connect a multitude of devices to your laptop without taking up a huge amount of space. It really does look great too. But first of all, what is a docking station exactly? In computing, a docking station or port replicator, hub or dock, provides a simplified way of plugging in a laptop computer to common peripherals. So let's take a quick look at what the Wavlink USB-C 4K offers as a docking station. With the Wavlink USB-C 4K triple display docking station, we are able to turn one USB-C port, you can see that here, into one DP and one HDMI port, up to 4K and 30 Hertz, one VGA port up to 2K and 60 Hertz, two USB 2.0 ports and two USB 3.0 ports. We have one here and one on the back here. One gigabyte Ethernet cable port and one SD and TF card reader. And also we have a phone jack here, of course. This is really going to be of use to any of you who are using multiple devices at the same time, as many of us are in this day and age. So what are some of the specs of the Wavlink USB 4K? As I mentioned, this docking station connects to your laptop via full function USB-C and adds a rich array of ports. Through a single USB-C connection, you can connect up to three monitors four USB devices and an audio device. Plug into Ethernet for fast, stable network and access your SD and micro SD cards. It really is going to give you support for most of, if not all, of your devices. With an outstanding MST chipset, this dock enables triple display support, but it also has a higher requirement on the PC laptops. So make sure your computer has a USB-C that supports USB 3.1 full function with data transfer. So let's take a closer look at some of the key features of this device. First of all, we have the triple 4K UHD display. This docking station supports triple display under USB-C video alternate mode with that perfect resolution, reaching up to 1920 by 1080 at 60 Hertz. It supports dual display resolution up to 2048 by 1152 at 60 Hertz and single DP or HDMI display up to 38040 by 2160 at 30 Hertz and VGA up to 2048 by 1152 at 60 Hertz. In essence, the display quality is not going to falter and everything will be very clear. So what about setting things up? There are really no worries there. The Wavlink USB-C 4K is completely trouble free when it comes to setting up. Just plug in and play. We have a great plug and play design which will completely free you from the hassle of connection and changing settings manually on your computer or laptop. There is no need for external software driver installation. Pretty nice. This docking station is also built really well and it looks awesome. The case is built using aluminium alloy to improve heat dissipation and features a slim profile for easy portability. Now, just a few more details about this docking station. It's two USB 3.0 and 2.0 ports and you can expand to more USB devices like external storage, keyboards, your mouse, headset and an optical drive. The Gigabit Ethernet port also provides a stable network for your file transfer, and the ST and TF card reader is camera user friendly. What's not to love? So as you can see, the Wavlink USB-C 4K docking station is really going to do the job, supporting practically any device you plug in and giving you the reliability you need to stay focused on your work. I've been Josh for Newegg Now. See you next time. 
What's up, Eggheads? Kenan here with New Egg Now, always bringing you the best products for the best prices. If you've got a dual monitor setup, this video is for you. If you've got a dual monitor setup and you're tired of all the space it takes up on your desk, this video is definitely for you. We're taking a look at the almighty Huanua dual arm monitor stand. All right, and I already have it all set up right here. Before I speak any further, let's get compatibility out of the way. All right, the Huanua dual arm monitor stand is a pretty universal mount. It's gonna fit two 13 to 27 inch monitors with VESA mounting patterns of 75 by 75 millimeter or 100 by 100 millimeter. It'll securely hold two monitors, each weighing between 4.4 to 14.3 pounds. All right, check your specs. The monitor stand will not work on glass or particle board tables, all right? So if you're on a glass or particle board table, you'll just have to buy a new table along with the Huanua dual monitor stand. The monitor stand can be fixed via C-clamp, all right, fitting desks with a thickness up to 3.26 inches, and it can also be mounted through a grommet mounting hole in the desk. The grommet mounting fits desks with thickness up to 3.4 inches, all right? So you mount the stand according to your needs. Just check the specs of your monitors and tables. So if your monitors and tables are a good match, Let's keep exploring this fine product. All right, so this is very cool. The dual monitor stand works via gas spring. It comes with two gas spring arms that you can easily adjust to get a better posture, relieving strain on your neck, back, and shoulders. Both arms are directly mounted onto the desk, creating greater stability, and adjusting one arm will not move or affect the other arm, meaning adjusting one monitor will not move or affect the other monitor. See, I can move or adjust my left monitor, the right one stays in place, or if I need to adjust the right one, the left one stays in place. Very, very convenient. And just look how much space I freed up from my desk. So instead of putting two monitors directly onto your desktop, this dual monitor stand holds both monitors above the desk at eye level with adjustable arms. You also get full range of motion adjustment. All right, so these dual arms can both be swiveled 360 degrees and the VESA plates rotate 360 degrees, swivel 180 degrees and tilt from plus 45 to plus 90. Check this out. Okay, so adjusting to 45, back up to 90. I can move this around. I can have a monitor like this. I can continue to move it around. Okay, so a full 360 degree rotation. I'm gonna bring that back, check this out. So, you know, it, this is just an added bonus. All right, you can place both monitors in portrait or landscape positions and they don't have to be the same. So if you're a visual artist, photo editor, gamer, streamer, composer, stock trader, or if you just want an elite movie setup, all variations of display requirements are possible here. All right, so depending on the weight and size of your monitors, you'll have to use the tools provided to counterbalance the weight using the gas spring adjustment. The arms are adjusted by Huanua's secure gas spring mechanism. To adjust the tension in your monitor, you'll simply come over here, use the tool, and you'll turn clockwise to reduce gas spring tension for lighter monitors and turn counterclockwise to increase tension for heavier monitors. And once you find the right balance, the monitors will remain level in place. If you don't balance it right, the monitor might swing upward or downward. So you will indeed have to spend a few minutes finding that perfect balance, and you definitely wanna spend the necessary time possible for that. Uh, also included is are the cable management chassis. I don't know if you can see that from here, right here. The cable management chassis, this is awesome. All right, these arms attached here, keep your cables, right? Keep your cables neat and organized so you can say goodbye to messy and tangly wires. I, I think they've really thought of everything. So when it's all said and done, you're going to have a perfectly balanced dual monitor system, right? That's easy to adjust to different programming needs. And that's basically it, eggheads. With this dual arm monitor stand, achieve perfect harmony with your displays. All right, twist and turn between landscape and portrait. 
right? You can stack them on top of each other even. Enjoy a tangle-free open space desk. Again, just so long as your desk is not glass or particle board and your monitors have VESA mounting patterns of 75 by 75 millimeter or 100 by 100 millimeter and between 4.4 or 14.3 pounds. <laughs> they do not have to be the same weight or size, by the way. Okay, your monitors don't have to be exactly the same. Mine here are, but yours do not have to be. Uh, they just have to be between 4.4 to 14.3 pounds and 13 to 27 inches. I love products that make workstations more accessible and manageable and sleek. This one gets five stars from me. Let us know what you think in the comments and reviews. For specific prices, please check the description or click that link below. The Huanhua Dual Arm Monitor Stand. My dear eggheads, this has been New Egg Now, and now you know. Hi, I'm James, and welcome back to New Egg Now. Furniture is important, not just for comfort, but for facilitating greatness. I mean, for a really good gaming experience, it's not just about what's inside your PC, you're also going to need the right desk, and we've got one for you here today. Today we're looking at the Vitesse 63-inch gaming desk. First off, as you can see, it's a good size, 63 inches long by 29 and a half inches wide. That's an extra large desktop area with this mouse pad that covers about half the surface. This also means your keyboard and mouse will sit at an even height on your desktop. So this desk is sturdy. It's constructed with a premium density fiberboard material and a coated steel frame holds it up. Its weight limit is reported at 250 pounds, so you won't have to worry about additional monitors or desktop accessories warping or breaking the desk. Its T-shaped design and four leveling feet down below keep it on an even keel. Additional features, it has a gaming handle rack, four charging ports, and it will let you charge a phone, iPad, headphones while you're using your PC. It has a PVC laminated surface with the aforementioned mouse pad as well. It also features a handy cup holder and a hook on the other side to hold your headphones. So that's our look at the Vitesse 63 inch gaming desk. Get a nice looking centerpiece for your setup with this sturdy desk by checking out the product link in the description down below. For other desks, laptops, gaming accessories and gadgets, head over to Newegg.com for more great deals. On behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now, I'm James Oliver. Enjoy your tech and I'll see you in the next one. Hi, I'm James and welcome back to Newegg Now. If you have a car, it's about time you picked up a reliable dash cam. Whether it's for safety, evidence of wrongdoing in accidents, or just capturing footage of your next road trip, dash cams are a super useful accessory in use worldwide today. So now we've got the Vantrue N4 dash cam. Let's get into the specs. So this is a three channel dash cam, which means you can record three cameras all at the same time. Now the N4 offers a 155 degree angle front facing camera right here, which is also adjustable, check that out. Now it also has a 165 degree, that's a wider angle inside camera, and that's gonna be on the other side of this. This is gonna pick up everything inside your vehicle. It also has this, ah, here it is. This is your rear camera, also a pretty wide lens on that. That's 160 degree rear camera. And the rear camera comes with this extra long cable here, so you can run it all the way from the back of your car, truck, or van. Now, in three cam mode, if you're running all three cameras simultaneously, they're going to record in 1440p, that's 1440p, 1080p and 1080p. 1440p, that will be your main front camera. That is your highest resolution camera of the three. Now, each of these will record at 30 frames per second, which is standard for this kind of video. Now, however, in two camera recording mode, you can actually capture crystal clear 4K resolution using the front facing camera. So if you reduce it down to only recording two cameras simultaneously, you're gonna get a higher resolution. 4K in the front, 1080p in the rear, both at 30 frames per second. That's 4K in the front, 1080p inside the car, and they're both gonna record at 30 frames per second. That's these cameras right here. Again, that's your front-facing camera, 4K 
and this one's going to record at 1080p, that's full HD, inside the cabin of your vehicle. So if you prefer to only activate the front-facing camera, same deal, if you're only going to roll footage from the front-facing camera, it will record in 4K resolution, which is probably ideal if you want to capture details such as license plates at long range. Now regardless, the camera settings, the cameras give a decent picture quality overall, even at night, thanks to the Vantrue's night vision technology. Night vision is made possible with the Sony Starvis CMOS sensor. It has a big f1.4 aperture and six glass lens on the front facing camera and an f1.8 six glass lens on the rear camera. That's this bad boy right here. So these are set up to increase exposure automatically in low light. There are also four IR LED lights facing the vehicle occupants and those are right here. If you have a look at the interior camera, you can see the IR LED lights here. So they're gonna capture everything that happens inside the car, even at night in very low light conditions. Now, if you get into a car accident, there are a number of useful features built in as well. The variable sensitivity G sensor emergency will emergency lock videos into the event folder upon any impact. It's also useful in parking situations. The dash cam will automatically switch to parking mode five minutes after you've parked your car. Then in energy saving motion detection parking mode, the dash cam will be on standby and wake up to record any movement it detects outside your vehicle. In the event of any collision with the vehicle, the dash cam will automatically record. So if anyone bumps into you while you're parked, it's going to pick that up. Now in terms of heat resistance, don't worry about the sun causing any issues. The Vantrue N4 dash cam is actually powered by super capacitors rather than traditional lithium ion batteries. This is going to allow it to survive extreme weather conditions all the way down from a very cold 14 degrees Fahrenheit up to 158 degrees Fahrenheit, making it ideal for both hot and cold climates. Super capacitors also tend to have a longer lifespan. Finally, it can house up to a 256 gigabyte SD card for storage. But if your card gets full, don't worry, the camera system will automatically overwrite the card's oldest file. You can see we've connected, this is the rear facing camera to the front facing and interior cameras here. This is also known as the cabin camera when we go to the settings. So right now we're shooting in 1440p by 1080p by 1080p. So the front facing camera is shooting in 1440p resolution and the other two cameras are shooting in 1080p full HD. All of these cameras are recording in 30 frames per second. So that's our look at the Vantrue N4 dash cam. Give yourself a little more peace of mind. Pick up this dash cam by hitting the link in the description down below. For more car accessories, batteries, computer gear, and other gadgets, head over to Newegg.com for more great deals. On behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now, I'm James Oliver. Enjoy your tech, and I'll see you in the next one. Hi, I'm James, and welcome back to Newegg Now. Once in a while, you come across an item that could really get you out of a jam, improve your life, or maybe even save it. Today, we'll take a closer look at some portable automotive tech. This is the TacLife T8 Jump Starter. So the ease of mind you'll get from having a portable jump starter unit with you on road trips is pretty obvious. You won't need to flag down a stranger and get out the old jumper cables in the event your car battery fails. But this unit is more than just a high functioning portable battery and I'll show you how in just a minute. So right out of the box, you can see it has a jumper cable here that comes with a smart indicator unit attached to it. It has the TacLife T8 jump starter itself, that's the battery. It also comes with a wall charger, a car charger, a cigarette adapter, and a micro USB cable. Also, of course, it's user manual and carrying case. So first off, despite its compact design, this thing is really powerful. With a peak current of 800 amps, it can jumpstart 12 volt cars, SUVs, trucks, or vans up to 30 times, 30 times on a full charge of the T8. So topping up the jump starter, this unit itself will take about four and a half hours, but then it's going to last you a very, very long time. It can last about 12 months when not in use. So it's something you can definitely keep in the trunk of your vehicle. So it's a compact power bank with 
18,000 mAh capacity, which can also, of course, charge your phone and other devices in case of an emergency through the use of its dual USB ports, one of which is a 5-volt, 9-volt quick charging port. It can power other accessories too using a 12-volt, 10A DC port. So yes, it's not just a car battery charger. The T8 comes equipped with some super bright LEDs as well, so it can also serve as an emergency flashlight. You can toggle through different functions on the flashlight too. The red light can function as a traffic hazard warning signal in the event of an accident. It also has a strobe light mode and an SOS signal and even a built-in compass right here on the top should you find yourself lost. And since this is a modern piece of equipment, its digital LCD screen is there to show you the battery's remaining power. And it has an indicator to let you know if you're using the device incorrectly by way of an audible buzz sound and flashing lights. So that's our look at the TacLife T8 Jump Starter. If you're someone on the road a lot or you just want more peace of mind for your next trip, a portable jump starter and a multi-purpose USB port equipped battery it's a solid investment, especially at this price. Check out the product link in the description down below. For more outdoor tech, laptops, gaming accessories, and other cool gadgets, head over to Newegg.com for more great deals. On behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now, I'm James Oliver. Enjoy your tech, and I'll see you in the next one.